Orla Gillespie, number two, Ashlyn Crimmon, number three, number four is Fiona Kerwin, and number five is Gemma Grace. Number six then is Quiva Maher, she's the vice captain. Uh, seven is Kate Grace. Number eight in midfield is Ruth Barry with Kira McKeo, number nine. Number ten is the captain, Kira de Grace, or Kira de Maher. And then we have Jenny Grace, number 11, and Anya Gillespie, number 12. Caitlin O'Holland is number 13, and Amy Kennedy, number 14. And number 15 today is Katie O'Flaherty instead of Emily Marcy, who was on mount injury. Let's look to the higher up. Seen her huddle. <laughs> About six, seven minutes away from throwing now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm Couldn't arrive yet. Never say never. Can I see a wonder class? Can I see one that's going left to right? Warmed up. Yeah. Don't get a change of rules. Uh, no, 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 no,
always give a shout out to Mike Gill in New York. So Mike, if you're watching this, uh, Oakley and Giants. That's the only free shout out of the night. Andre, half money now. <laughs> So the winner of this match now will decide who stays at home now in the county final. They're just are looking for a repeat match here to clean the price of their loss, so hopefully they don't get through. Seven points. Just tight enough game, I think, for most parts. Burgess to Harrow, please. Movie. Burgess to Harrow. The Harris seem to have learned out of their program. The Harris have only Gillespie in the corner and Katie Clark out the wing. Yeah. 
to drive that one long then. Down into Jenny Gray. Put up the hand. Jenny, Jenny, Gray's got the hurley to her, but she missed it, so she's run after it. For the battle there. She's a very fast player, so hopefully she'll have the speed on the map. Pass to Ruth Perry. Ruth flicks it back then to Ashley Freeman. Side sets and does a lovely strike clearing the ball then. There's a battle there. Joanna Kerman and Jenny Grace are there for help. And Queen of Larry comes out of that for a hand pass off Jenny Grace. Mm. Wait for a throw in. Throw ball. Two, three, Sajjah Hara. Just conceded. Takes it well. And she puts it over. It's Keir Hill in again with a hook out. Drives along again. Over to Kira McHugh and Kira DeMahers, the captain of the Ara. Kira McHugh, Ruth Barry, and Kira DeMahers in the rough. Three for the Virgin Sahara. Jenny Grace will take this one. But Jenny is the usual free taker for Sahara, so we'll see now. She'll have no problem. In between the halfway and 35 line. So it's six for referee. Struck well. Hard left. Gone wide. There's a slight breeze in favour of Kamauti. Where did it reset again to face the puck at? Kira McKeel is there. She blocks it down to Kira DeMar. Rook again. They are going to have to fight for this now. Kira DeMar is there. Put the pressure on. Face me again with a block. Ashton Kerman is running out to the top of the tower. Casey, Casey, two. Fiona Kerman is here. Casey, I'm looking. White ball. Take a friend. Kira, good in again with the fucker. Uh, Ruth Perry is in the middle of the same point for the players. Fiona Kerwin is fighting her. And Casey Flyers are there. In the rough for us. Head for Jenna Gray. Murphy does well. See Luke Perry is there. He's fighting up. Done. Cleva Meyer is there to recover. And Jenny Gray is helping her. Cleva Meyer comes out and clears as well. All the way down to Amy Kendi. So the court is out in front. Amy okay, has to work a bit this two of them on her. And Ashton Kremlin's running out to this one. Casey, 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 Casey,
six minutes on that. Score is salt. Four points, no score. Is there any reset in the reset? Let's move on to this match. We have it in the middle. Here. Let's jump by Kira Hannon. And Kira out of Kira Denard. Command up with this list. And Jenny Grace comes to the line. Jenny Grace gets a free. Struck lovely by Jenny Grace. All the way over the back foot. We give her the first point of the game. Four points to one after seven minutes. You're going to get the news here. Grace Barry and Jenny Grace. Thank you. Crosses the ball over to Lisa Carthy. Makes it on. No one there in charge. Three come out to grab the round. Three come out to grab the round. Grace Barry chasing for it. Heavy core coverage. Still working hard. It's all true here. Do you want to throw in his case, Mad? I don't know who's moved up in that. Four is being back there on the ball. She doesn't touch the straight over there, don't you? Heavy core coverage. Right. Okay, carry on in, poking out the ball again. Goes along, head again, drives to the half forward, head to the ladder. It has been held a little bit. They work in for the ball. Very far he's into help. Jenny Grace is playing great. Jenny Grace has him. She's snapped and she's gone. She sees Kira McHugh inside her and she's the runner. Working together. Kira does an honor and runner. She's got this kind of goal and it's a lovely point. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's my kid poke up. Okay, the mar I'll preview my hair. Sorry, I'm about to go on to it. She misses it over. She's going to cut the hair. She saves the day. Strikes it into Kira McHill. Passes it to Ruth Barry. And Ruth is up for striking it into Kate and O'Hara. Kira does run out of it now. Push on to it. Nice free now for her. Any guys will take this one again. So again, it's just on the 45 line there, or between half or midfield and 45. So we're going to try to this one. It's just so slightly wide, oh, Captain. Square ball, so free up to clarity. Do I need to stand her up now, Ruth Barry? Is that safe? Do I need to stand her up now, Ruth Barry? Is that safe? Fairly soft green, now I'd have to take my view. What kind of areas are green at? If you want to freeze in this game, this is very soft. Okay, so now she's going to curve in. She's designating her. Straight over the back. Just over 10 minutes. 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 
but now the black jersey for that, which goes over to Kira Meyer suffering. Kira went to grab it off the ball, so there's a big free being taken there. The ref won't do that. Same with the position of the free, he's right to take it out. Ball goes on. Kevin back to down. And Orla Gillespie is so up, but no free for that one. And she's back in Verizon on her knees. She's trying to start. Kate Drake is the ball. She's well able to go on. Here's a lovely. Kate is really going to be able to go. Kate Drake is super passing to Casey. The heart might be in danger here now. Casey got a score. Shoots. Gone wide. The heart will be lucky with that one now. They'll have to play no place with it. I've recorded really well there. And Jenny Grace is under this one. Catches the beautiful. Strikes the lovely ball into Amy Kennedy now. Amy will fancy her chances here. No, she's late. Jane Mahoner and trying to rise it. She's under pressure. Casey O'Clarence, she has the ball. Pass that to McHugh. And pass to Jenny Grace. Unfortunately, just gone wide. Good pressure on the board. Yeah, are really working hard. They are doing great moves with Hoffman on the ground. So the fight is on the way for both of them. Come back from the long term push of this. Jane Pete Maher is running back for it. Fiona Curry is off the heel. She shoots. That's a brilliant score. It goes over. Here, who then again? Fuckers, looking for the higher lady. Strikes it down to Jenny Grace again. Just goes over her. She was skating in the hollers. She's behind the ground, unfortunately. Jenny Grace is working hard on it. And Ruth Barry is there to clear. The anti higher sideline, so. Getting close to the 15 minute water break now. Here, Mickey, I also want to take this one down. I'm just going to try to do it. It's lovely. And Kate Flaherty is running onto it. She's putting one hand in the air. I'm getting an honour. Kira Maher, she says, I Kira has it, she's running out with an advantage for Kira. Kira is a little rough. Yeah, she would have been fast in there now. She'd be ready to she didn't get the best touch there, but you're not going to see Jenny again. Nothing to roll with. Yes, she's going, going pretty quick for me. She's right in front of the black foot now, on the far side of the black foot. Well within the range. Hopefully this one goes with her. Struck love eight. So she scored for Jarrett, it's now 3 points to 7. For Tomashi. Here, she opened up the down. Three Tomashi there, the clean as well. Emma Grace is out in front. Orla Gillespie is there, running out here. She's in the back. Definitely gonna have lots of uh, visual input in the decision making. Taking all rides. 
It's great to see. Great interest in the semi final today. Nine 
Another big rock comes in. Here McEwen, the Juhara girl in front of that. Comes out to Jenny Grace. McEwen and Carmen is there helping. And Queen Maher comes out with that one. And drives it over on the shoulder. Her sister Kira going in. Go to get the Hardy Seven Bend as well.
Just over 23 minutes gone now in the first half. Again, he's not going to bring the free back. He's eagle out to bring it to rest. He sent every free back in. Whether it needed to go back or not, he sent it back. Inside the 45, can he find three attempts to this one, I have to say? Strikes a lovely, all the way on that is anyway. So, 11 points to Madrid, 4 points to Dara, the Sapper, 15 and a half minutes. And the first four. Exactly which blade of grass it's taken off of. Measuring the distance between players as well. Okay, just check. Yeah. 
Even in that. Oh, don't like that one. It's a very small crash. Any guys <laughs> going to get that? Just on the halfway line now. Here, Mikhail was running far. Lovely when it's all right. Dropped in, I think. Oh, now you have the hamster. Oh, it's loose around the spirals. Please support us, right? Please support us. Knocked in, Harley. 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 Please support us. Knocked Attention. All of Juhara's scores seem to just come from freeze, I'd say. One from play. One, one, one from, from play. play from Kira Maher, but I want to concede a lot more. I'd be very upset with her. Goal wasn't allowed. Are you ready to tell you? I'm covered up. Pen, uh, I might have. Yeah, one second. Yeah.
Mike's are going live now. Jenny G hits it. I have to pass it for Jahara back contesting this match now. Jenny Grace with four points of the night from Grace. Four points to seven. Can actually lead a short puck out. No forward of near on it or hitting 100 chances towards it. Cleaver Mara is contesting it. Katie O'Flaherty has come all the way from wing forward to the house. And they're still in it. Juhar is still wrestling for that ball. And Katie O'Flaherty comes out with using her strength and size to come out. Kayla Nahan and Grace touch and she's gone. Oh, she misses it on the touch. She has to keep facing for that ball now. I feel the fantastic hook. She's still in it then. She comes again. But now she's come with it. But sorry, the serious facing. Serious block down by Ruth. And Ruth has it. Juhar are playing a blinder in these last few minutes. Teddy Grace, quick look up. Finds Amy Kennedy. Amy Kennedy is slightly being held. She's still she has to lift. And she's been held by the hook for the rest of the last three minutes. And Jane Lara has her score. 
Okay, how are you next? Like, let's see you tomorrow. Second point tonight. Amy Candy not happy with how she carries, but at least she got the score. In the second half, Sahara have scores. And contested by Kamaji, they'd like to keep it that way for as long as possible. So even Mara has the ball, but misses it. Big rook again. One of these rooks. Jenny Grace is challenging. Lovely run. Now she answered Jahara's couple of points there. Thirteen points to eight to Kanauji. Kira Hulhan again with the puck out. Fires it nice and long. He's there for Jahara. Oli Gillespie's there. Oh, super catch by Kanauji. Jahara will hope not to contest again and not lose the momentum they were up with. She hits it strategically, but Katie Grace is like a rabbit house. Three parries there as well, but three in for Hopefully, three parries. Hopefully, it's Hara. Three parries again and keep going. So it's gone wide. Sarah will be thankful for that. We blame the commentator for that one. <laughs> Commentator's curse. Here, Hulin again. Strikes the land. Here, the matter is under that one. We can get her though. Now she has won to her as fuck as she gets again. She loads the room. Morley Gillespie is working. Emma Grace is chased all the way back from midfield. Gone wide. She hire an each session now for the puck out and win their own. To her sideline now. Queen and Mara is coming on for the third Mara sister. This is her first senior game of the year now. Who is coming off? Isn't quite clear yet. Caitlin Holland, is it? Yeah, it's Caitlin Holland coming off, and Queen and Mara has gone in number 17. That's the third of the, the Mara sisters in now. Kieran McHugh going to take the sideline. Strikes it lovely. Kieran Jamar has it. Looks up. Amy's behind her marker. Only left to get a shoved out of the way. Jamar needs to do serious bet. Well John Amy Kendi. She gets the hurley in. Flash the ash. Kieran McHugh. Well, Abel, Oni Gillespie is powering, there's no one even near her. Oni's going to take it on, she bends back and she's gone. That was a top rep now. And he gives it for a throw. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'll have to give out about that one now. Oni Gillespie won't be happy with that, she'll have to prove her points all the way now. Amy Kendi's trying the list, I don't know if he has About nine minutes gone in the second half. Queen of Maher is under this one. And Fiona Kerwin. Kieran McHugh is there to help out. Orla Gillespie has to really work to get there. And Giles Lloyd. Too hard, lucky there. Still 13 points to 8 to come out. And just over nine minutes gone in the second half. Here are again with the puck out. Goes short to Queen of Takes a couple of touches and she drives it. All the way down to Jenny Grace and Annie Gillespie. Jenny puts her hand, she misses it, doesn't know where it is. Here we go, pulls. 
Down here in all the way, but there's no one down there, unfortunately. Amy Candy is really sprinted out to the sideline. It's just at the sideline, we keep it in. From the Zuhara team, we can't see through. And two minutes set, so Amy Candy has won that three there. She's got the hook in as well. Interesting to see when he makes any reposition at now for that. How many times? Oh, both teams, I'm sure, would like to see the game played more. It's free is inside for five near twenty one, Jenny. And your chances? All the way. Jenny G is doing serious score taking this this half. Early awards a point for Clarity. Nine points to thirteen. Much better performance from Juhara this half. Ruth Barry out in front, but she misses it. Fiona Kerwin is there putting pressure. That could have been steps maybe that time. Katie Flaherty is doing lots of tracking back to get there. Three Juhara jerseys, Quiva Maher, safe as a house there. Lovely ball to Gemma Grace. Ruth Barry is chasing this one. Too many one handed hurlies, they're not strong enough on it. Penalty girl's not even being contested for that one. Great score for Penalty. Juhara would be disappointed that that one was let in. Fourteen points to nine for Penalty. Just over 11 and a half minutes gone. Kira Hoonan to strike it. Kira McEwen's doing serious run for that one. Just misses the half. Player in her way. Loads of hurlies in, but no one gets there in time. Gemma Grace just behind him, remember? Gemma's hassling, she's hassling. Ruth Barry's in the way. It's too many free women on the Kanauti side. Ashton Kremen, the only Duhara defender, catches it brilliantly on the wrong hand, but then she loses it. Fiona Kerwin out to the work hard. No Duhara defender inside. Weaver Maher tracking back. Too easy. Duhara, Weaver Maher, safe as the house yet again. Drives and clears it only for her. Okay, Anya Gillespie is running back to it. Kira Maher comes. Now she win. Fiona Kerwin there with the hurley up. Uh, too easy for the Tonality girls. Duhara getting caught here. Penalty have lots of speed. Fantastic score. <laughs> Juhara have lost a bit of the momentum they had in the first five, seven minutes. They need to catch it again. Kira Hulin with the long ball towards Jenny Grace. I'll straight to Penalty Girl. Number six, Penalty has serious strength in using a third advantage. Orla Gillespie now towards the ball. Kira McHugh is doing serious run and trying to catch her. Okay, Kira Hoolan has time and she drives. Kira DeMaher is fancy in this one. She's run back for it though. That's where all her running experience comes. She keeps it in magically. Ball on the hurl, she's running. There's no catching Kira DeMaher when she's done like this. Quarters behind us, one degree, ball sit on. Queen and Maher, her sister has a pass, comes it to Jenny Grace. Free for Juhara, I think. We'll take it at this stage. <laughs> well, I would like to see Jenny Grace come in. She's very it, no better woman. Oh, hopefully now she'll take her point and Juhara will come back into it. Just over 13 and a half minutes gone, so close enough to the water break again. So Jenny Grace to take this again. She scored four points already from threes. Hope to make the fifth. Straight over the black spot, all the way for Jenny Grace. And now she 15 points to 10. To her under this one again. Katie Grace is there. Picks it on. There's two to her girls that have been too kind to each other. Katie Flaherty has it. Back to Amy Kennedy. She, and she does a lovely quick strike. Amy Kennedy, third point of the second half. 
When you hard get momentum like this, it's hard to stop them. Hopefully, they'll keep Come it going. Couple of seconds there to water break. Uh, Jara needs to get under this again. Fiona Kerwin is there. Katie Grace is going to get there. She gets it. Katie Grace is a serious workhorse. She'll keep going. Couple of Kanaji guards around her. She can't contest. Jenna Grace is there to sweep it up. Catches a lovely strike. Down towards Kyrda Bauer. Uh, Kyrda has her speed again, hopefully, to her advantage. Number 7 will come to the field. Jenny Grace has it. Oh, she's gone. This sloppy, gone out. Jenny Grace blocks it down. Sideline ball to Clarity. Over the 15 minutes now, so it shouldn't be too long for the water break. Hard to see through the Juhara team management and players. Here, or Jenny Grace blocks that one. Anna Gillespie comes out with it. Amy Kendi snaps it. Oh, she drops it again. It's getting a bit sloppy now. And Cloud has come away with it brilliantly. Jenny Grace is playing it. Juhara have very few defenders back there. Ashen Kremen and Orla Gillespie are the only two back there. Here, our Cueva Mar is working hard. She has it. And Katie O'Flaherty is playing great. She passed Quillen Maher. Quillen bends down. She has it. Quillen drives it in. And Katie Grace has worked work the whole way from wing back all the way down here. She's serious work ethic. Shoots. Just. Katie Grace the whole way from wing back came down to score that one. That's where Katie Grace is serious at it. She loads the speed and works like a trooper. So Katie's actually gone into the forwards there. And it's water break now. To her, fighting mad, 15 points to 12. Three points in it now. They've done great workload since halftime. Might be biased now, but as a team, I never count out the last whistle. Her, then Katie Grace scored one point, Kira Damaris two from play, Jenny Grace five from freeze, and Amy Kennedy got three savage points in the second half there. We're looking to get more on their sheet now after this water break. Hopefully they're going to keep the momentum going. Go Dara! No comparing 15 minutes now, it's anybody's game with the way they're playing. Hungry to defend themselves after losing to counter point last week. They'd be eager to get back there to prove a point against Drum. Yeah, yeah, Kisha Grace scored just before. Nice. Mm. Jara have lined up the same again. Kisha Grace has moved into forwards, playing one left back. Kate Grace on the ball. Jenny Grace scoops it up lovely. And Jenny's on for him to three. Uh, Amy Kendi sprints now to this one. Her marker gets there. Amy's standing her up. Here to Mar chasing. Jump gets to be full. Jenny Grace won the pressure on. Uh, so just in front of us now, Jenny Grace is taking the line ball. Passes it back to Kira McKill. Loads of time to drive the lovely. Into Kira Mark. If that's not a free off now. For Hurley was held and the advantage is said she got nowhere. So Jenny will be here to take the free again. In between 45 and 21. Hopefully now Jenny's like fancy her chance of putting that one over.
just wide by Jenny Grace. Carl have to keep going. Carl have to lift it again now. Keep the momentum going for Jihara team. Queen Lamar puts hand up, but she just misses it. Jeremy Kyo early up, but doesn't get there. Orla Gillespie's out in front for this one. Line ball. It's a hard ball, I think, by the way the linesman has shown it. Queen Lamar are going to take this one. Far over line. Nice and low on the ground, goes back out for Canati. <laughs> We're very neutral today. <laughs> and one of us will be side going home, that's for sure. Last five minutes will really tell it. <laughs> Orla Gillespie cleans out lovely. Advantage to her. And Kira with your old strikes are lovely. Controversy over, will it be a free or a line ball now? Ref isn't saying much, he's not even moving. It's going to be a line ball to Kanati. <laughs> Could put her on the lads team and she'd do just as well. Dangerous position, dangerous position. Sneaks in. Oh, Kira Hulian actually blocks it, goes out to out for 45, Kira Hoolan, in fairness, is a very solid goalie. I would have been shocked if it had gone. 45 now for Kennedy. I'm sure Kosh will take that one again. So 15 points to 12. Three minutes gone since the water break. Struck a lovely. Over the black spot for Cot again. Increasing their lead by four points. Quick puck out by Kieran or Kieran. Jenny Grace catches that fantastically. Dangerous now. Amy Kendi, is she get it? No. Mad fighting going on. Looks like Amy Kendi might just get it. She's on the ground and she's smart and she's stupid. She hasn't taken many now. Uh, that's contest, she wasn't on the ground for She wasn't off the ground too long, I don't think. This is where now we become less amicable. <laughs> and it gets nitty gritty. Ruth Barry is out contested, gets in the way. Katie Flaherty is nice and solid there, and Ruth playing a blinder. Has a look up, sees her girl, or oh, just misjudges it. Bonnie Gillespie's chasing, Jenny Grace Burton early gets there. Fiona Kerwin gets a little bit of a knock. Quiva Maher, you'd like to think she'll get it out, but no, it goes faster. Very dangerous. Ashley Kerman has to come out there. Oh, well done, Kira Hulahan. Very reliable in the goal there. Quiva Maher surely will come out with this one. Quiva brought to the ground now. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. Oh, very dangerous, very casual. Off of to get caught for got the free. I have to disagree with the crowd now. There isn't many steps being taken, I don't think. Weaver Maher to strike this one. Drives it down the field. In front of Jenny Grace. Oh, hops lovely in front of her. She quickly picks over the shoulder, Kira the Maher there. Puts it, and Amy Kennedy is gone. Pass it to you now. Come on, Kira! Yeah. And Jahara are well and truly in it. Only a point between the teams. Crucial score for Jahara. Amy Kennedy and Kira DeMar working in the partnership. This is the Jahara we all know and love now. And maybe we don't all love, but we do. <laughs> so, what a boost for Jahara's confidence now. Hopefully, they'll be able to keep it going. Now, uh, do have the heads lifted? Will they keep it up? Hopefully. Jenny Grace is contesting that with Gemma. And Jenny comes out. Kira McHugh, great strike on Kira. 
So Amy can do now. Just goes past her. Amy has to send her up. She puts the hand in, but gets past her. Overstruck. Quila Maher is there. No, doesn't get to it. And Gemma Grace is up. There's a controversy on that one now. Jenny Grace has demanded it there. Yeah, it's Kieran McHugh to take this one. The glass is fogged up on him. The scoreboard hasn't updated yet at the field, but we are definitely right, it was a goal. Goes through a few hands there. Jenny Grace is playing a blinder. She gets it through, passes it to Kezio Flaherty, playing her, starting her first match senior, passes it to Oni Gillespie. Oni Gillespie is really strong, strikes it, just goes wide. And score. Yeah. The Hara fans are contesting that fiercely. As long as the ref has it down in his book, I don't mind. No, one was enough in any game. <laughs> Just so, nearly eight minutes gone now, so there's only seven to go. It's getting very heated, only a point in it. Gemma's under it. Just hops off her, Kieran McHugh gets it. Cueva Mar has to change direction quickly. Adds too many to our county women. Here, Fiona Kerwin is just behind. Let's see. Crowd's not happy with that one. I'm staying quiet. I'm sure, every player is in it there. She's a swap for Hurley. Her Hurley was thrown. What an exchange. She scores there. Uh, maybe it was the Hurley that was doing all the scoring. But you see it all here in Cedar Clovey. Casey Clarity doing chasing. To Harabal, I would think. I know it's fans coming out here. She's concentrating, catching the ball and striking. You wouldn't see many Hurleys doing that. County level, never mind. You're in a semi final. Bridget Delaney will be right if she's gone before she got that touch. Nine balls to come out in there. I need to mark up now. Katie Grace is tying the lace. Miss Hitch, I would say. Katie Grace is having to work hard. Oh, she got that one now, I'll never know. Steps, I would say. Demi Grace is there, all oh, girl on her own. Jenny Grace working too hard. But she score. Two points between it. Just over five minutes. To her being better their pockets. The pockets are going long enough, but no one there to catch up. Quiva Maher intersects it, she holds on to it to make sure she gets it. No one there to help her from Duhara though. Not much Quiva Maher could have done there, but foul. Um, crucial point now in the match, five minutes to go. And can now she hear with a free in a very scorable distance. <laughs> Be a meme in no time. <laughs> Strikes are lovely. They're not sure, or they go for the flag though. Three points. Three points in and out. Kira de Maher has to use her strength and experience now to get through. Strikes it. Quelan, her sister, is coming out to it. Controls it. Oh, misses the catch. Quelan's under pressure there. She's still fighting for it. Juhara have it. Jenny Grace, no better woman to have it. Free for her. Uh, 
Hopefully now Jenny will get her score and narrow the lead again. Her under pressure now for time. Under four minutes to go. Definitely the second half is a different game. Strikes a lovely. All the way for Jenny Grace. Kira McKeo is fighting for it there. Uh, many do hard guards scooping up, but scooped it for the wrong player. Steps, I would have counted them that time. Kira McKeo gets the hurley to it, and Amy Kendi has come the whole way to midfield. High enough tackle now. Amy Kendi takes it. Oh, she goes to second. Rip! Went to take it, but caught a man in front of her. Lines man is it? He's keeping quiet. I'd have to say your one was too close to her. I would say now caught was too close, so we're going to. <laughs> this is where you know two of us are from Duhara and one from Kamauti. This is just front of audience members here. Keep weaving Mara strikes a lovely, dangerous ball. To her sister cleared out. Oh, it's blocked well. To her and contesting strongly. Oh, Queen and Mara gets the hurley to it. But she's on her own, there's no one helping her. Steps. Ruth Barry is there, but she doesn't catch it. Kira McKeo bends the back. She's under pressure though. Cautious all around her. These lads behind me have great vision of the sideline. <laughs> Amy Kendi's batting for that one. Oh. I won't say who was hurling that was, but well done. <laughs> Your man isn't sure which way to play the flag. Zahara need a serious score now. There's two and a half minutes to go. Kieran McHugh to take this one. Pinnacle of the matchup. Strikes are up. Misses. Oh no. Only advantage. She wins it. Fiona Carmen out there. She hasn't even caught it. Ash and Carmen has to come out there. She gets her point. Oh, wide. Juhara lucky. It's go over a quick puck out, but not even Juhara ready on. Gillespie comes out to it. By my watch, it was another minute, but now she have won. Well, out really 18 points to Hara, 113 oh, to lose out by two points. I wouldn't be convinced that the here's score or the time is there. I do Hara played a mighty second half there, they'd be very disappointed uh, now. So, yeah, he was short. Oh, about 14 20. <laughs> we'll take it if we can get it. Tara be very disheartened now. Knauti now in fairness played a blinder in the first half and Tara pushes in him for the second half. So well done Knauti, best of luck in the final.